Hey there guys, what is up? My name is Mysterium Effects and today I'm going to be bringing you this intro template that you just saw and um, how to edit it. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So the first step is um, downloading the files. Um, you know the links that I use. Um, I use links with ads attached to them to get some revenue. So um, here's just like how to download it because some people like don't don't trust the link in the middle because it's a virus. Let me just um, show you real quick. So this is one of my previous templates, and um, I'm just gonna click the link over here. Oh wait, I have ad block on. Hold on, you have to pause ad block, otherwise it makes you wait for longer. All right. So you just click on the link. Uh, don't press on this. You have to wait for this to say skip ad and skip the advertisement. And um, <clears throat> now you're at the download thing, and you can click on this thing to download it. And boom, you're done. So now that you've downloaded it, you can open the .zip file <clears throat> and open the .blend file inside of it, and you'll be greeted with this. Now, um, what you'll do from this point is press Tab and um, backspace it a lot, and then write in your text. I'm gonna write in. I'm gonna write in tutorial. All right, let's get in the spinning wheel. And press tab again to confirm the edit. <clears throat> My voice is real weird today. Anyway, now you have to right click the second layer of text over here. And then press tab and repeat. So now, as you can see, um, you have this wonderful little text. Here's how it looks. It's pretty awesome. Um, now what you're going to do is press view and then go to camera, and now you're going to press the play button down here. So um, as you can see, it's very large. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click and then hold down shift, then right click the other text and press S and then sort of move your mouse in towards the center. This will make your text smaller so that it fits on the screen. So um, now that you have that, um, if you're a Mac user you can press this up here and then press render animation and then you're good to go. However, if you're a winder, winders, Windows user, you have some fixing up to do. So you're going to be on this thing by default, and you're going to click on QuickTime, and then you're going to press H.264. Uh, you're not done yet. You have to go to Encoding, and scroll down to Audio Codec, and make it AAC. If you don't do this, um, if you don't do the audio codec, then it won't have any audio. So now you can press render and animation. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like. I appreciate that a lot. And um, I'll see you next template. Bye.